is the shark alignment chart. Starting with the most fun corner, chaotic evil. Obviously, no other shark could claim this spot but the famously grumpy bull shark. At just under three meters long, these toothy boys are not the biggest sharks in the ocean, but they make up for it by not giving a dang about anything. Not like the honey badgers, the sea. They'll eat anything they want, including unusual prey for sharks, like land mammals, birds, and dolphins. But what makes them truly chaotic is their behavior around people. They're the most unpredictable shark in the ocean. They are bullies, and when there's food around, they become greedy and brutal. They're one of the few sharks that can live in fresh water, which opens a whole world of feeding opportunities. Whether you're a pelican in the Mississippi, or perhaps a saltwater croc in Australia, or maybe even a capybara on the banks of the Amazon, you might just end up in a bull shark's belly. Let's go find the goody two-shoes in the lawful good corner. And here is the black tip reef shark. As their name suggests, these guys live in reefs. They're quite common at the Great Barrier Reef, for example. These sharks live in large groups, get along with each other, and are hugely important to their habitats. Black tips are the protectors of these reefs, which are the only home to hundreds of species. To keep the reefs safe from destruction, they kill the habitat destroyers. Several fish species, such as the parrotfish, eat corals, but the black tips are always there to control their populations. By devouring them, of course. They're the last line of defense against the main threat to their ecosystem. Other than humans, that is. Without black tips and other reef sharks, corals collapse due to parrotfish overpopulation. Save sharks? save coral reefs. Black tip sharks are the paladins of the reef. Nothing can rattle these majestic mouth breathers. They are the true neutral sharks. The chillest sharks in the ocean. Whale sharks. They have no reason not to be chill. They're the largest fish in the ocean. They can be up to 15 meters long and weigh up to 15 tons. Whoa. They can also live over a hundred years so they're not in any hurry to get anything done today. Their entire life consists of slowly swimming around warm oceans with their mouth open, catching plankton by the bucket load. That's right. Despite their size, most of their prey are no bigger than a grain of rice. To see this neutral evil shark, we have to dive into the heart of darkness to meet the most cartoonishly evil looking animal in the world, the goblin shark. They're the definition of neutral evil. They're out there just looking out for themselves. They're not thinking about the other fish in the ocean. Ha! These sharks are solitary, deep sea dwellers, with a weird jaw that does not conform to the rest of shark society. Their giant nose is packed with electroreceptors, which help them find prey at the bottom of the ocean. They'll eat anything they can find, from crabs to squid, as long as the risk doesn't outweigh the reward. Once a prey is nearby, their jaw shoots out and their nail-like teeth impale their prey. They call this slingshot feeding. They never saw it coming. It's time for chaotic good, and that is the basking shark. It's one of the largest fish in the ocean, with some individuals reaching eight meters in length. It's also the heaviest at 15 tons and with a mouth that's probably larger than you. Whoa, all that weight lets them live how they want to, with little fear of predators. And so, they spend their lives drifting in the ocean, eating plankton, and being one of the most chill sharks in the world. And those super chill doesn't mean they're shy. They also have a chaotic side. During the courtship season, they meet up in shoals of up to a hundred sharks and swim in circles around each other. We still don't know exactly what that means, but we do know that chaotic group swims help them meet a nice partner. They are a little strange and chill, but they're probably the nicest sharks in the world. Moving into the neutral zone, we have the tiger shark, a feared predator with an important job it takes seriously. This is the lawful neutral shark. He might look like a rogue, but this shark keeps the balance of the ocean ecosystem. It's true lawful neutral. This is the tiger shark. 
may be one of the prettiest sharks in the world due to its patterned skin, the tiger shark is also one of the most voracious and they'll eat anything, including man-made objects like car tires. This behavior has earned them the nickname of Garbage Eater. Their list of prey is also huge, but it includes some animals that would damage ecosystems if left unchecked. Sea turtles, for example, can decimate seagrass patches. Tiger sharks know that nobody is above maritime law, not even the cutest animals, and make sure their populations are under control. The tiger shark is the ocean's sheriff. I am a lawman, a lone wolf of justice. It's a thankless job, but somebody's gotta do it to preserve the oceans. Thanks, tiger sharks. Speaking of good guys, it's time for neutral good. The shark with the Disney princess eyes, the blue shark. These neutral good boys are relatives of the much more aggressive tiger and oceanic white tip sharks, but they prefer the chill life, hanging with their pals. They're one of the only species known to hunting groups, which is especially useful when you're hunting fast fish like tuna. But when it comes time to make cute dopey eyed baby sharks, doo -doo 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 -doo, their true nature comes to light. Their mating behavior involves fighting each other, almost to the brink of death. Those who manage to mate usually carry the scars for the rest of their lives. And yet, if you're swimming and come across this good boy, don't be scared. He's just out for a stroll. Just please, pretty please, don't try to date them. It's time for Chaotic Neutral. Today, we're talking about the Sand Tiger Shark, a needle-toothed giant found all over the world. Their life is what you would expect of a shark hunting smaller prey, and swimming around the bottom of the ocean. But what makes them chaotic and neutral is their reproduction. Pregnant females have two separate uterine horns, with up to 50 babies swimming freely in them and feeding on yolk. But once the biggest baby gets big enough, it will begin cannibalizing all of the other babies until only one baby remains in each uterine horn. It's a ruthless way to start your life. But from the point of view of the mom, she's providing her babies with enough food to get big and start their life strong. They're also literally babies eating other babies, so it's hard to say they're good. They're the perfect chaotic neutral shark. Finally, we uncover the last shark on the chart. It's time for lawful evil. They're not the biggest, smartest, or fastest shark. But for millions of years, the Great White has kept the seas under its iron fin. At a whopping six meters in length and two tons in weight, it can eat pretty much anything it wants to with no fear of predators, except for the occasional killer whale encounter. <laughs> Great white sharks abide by their own rules, and generally only open water animals are fair game, while smaller prey are left alone. But their favorite prey are mammals. Luckily for us, compared to seals, we're too scrawny to be worth their while. These sharks have ruled the oceans by methodically outcompeting their rivals and eating any animal that gets in their way. They're the judge, jury, and executioners of the ocean. The true lawful evil. So evil. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for new episodes every week. See ya. I am the lawman, silent and swift but deadly. I'm always at the ready with a rifle or a gun.